Hello, so welcome to my channel. I recently purchased the Infinite Air from Tex Energy and I wanted to share it with you guys, so let's unbox it. It comes in this cute little box, it's pretty tiny. I don't know if any of you experienced it, but I'm in Texas, so I recently had to deal with the winter storm that took us out power-wise for a few days. So I was really looking forward to something that would provide me at least with enough charge for my cell phone. So let's see how this will work. Comes in this cute little pouch. It's pretty neat. I like it. Let's see. Let's find out what we got inside. Alright, so you got the turbine. Blade cap, a little tripod, blades, okay, and what else is in here? And the cord. So yeah, everything fits in this cute little travel pouch. Uh, it's great, I guess, for outdoors and maybe campers or hikers. So let's put this together and see how it works. Okay, so we have taken all the pieces out of the pouch. And now we're gonna put it together. So first thing we should probably do is the blades. This up too. Okay. So it's pretty simple from what I can tell. Um, blades go in here and there's little notches that tell you which side is which. So all you really have to do is line them up. I don't think there's any way of getting it wrong because if you try to put the blade backwards, it won't fit correctly. It just won't go in. So there's only one way to do it. Pretty simple. And that's it. Blades are on. So then you would screw that into the generator. Once again, really simple. Gotta make sure you hold down the, the piece here or else it'll just spin, 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 spin. All right, it's on, there we go. And now the only thing left is the tripod, but that's just like super easy, right? So let's see, let's take this little tripod out and see what it looks like. Okay. I'm a photographer, so I have a ton of tripods. So this one's kind of neat. It's, it's really tiny, but it's cool that it actually has a tripod mount. Let's see, this one there. Unlock, all right. And you just twist it here to lock them in place. And twist it here. Okay, and it looks like the tripod is locked in place. All right. There we go. Little tripod and our little wind turbine, and we're set to go. So we're gonna take it outside and see if we can find some wind. And if not, we might be able to provide it with a little wind anyways. So the power cord is actually really easy to install. Um, if you can see here, there's a little notch. So all you have to do is connect it and compare the notches and you're just good to go. There you go. Super easy. I gotta say, this whole thing to like put it together has been really easy, so really hoping that it works. So let's get the fan hooked up and test it out. Okay, so I have the fan on, and I noticed I'm having a little trouble getting it to spin. I'm not sure if maybe I'm just at the wrong angle, or too close or too far. had to lower it a bit as well 
So I don't know how this would work maybe out in the mountain world. But right now, it's a controlled setting and it's not turning, so it's a bit disappointing. So let me see if I can get it to work a bit. Okay, so I took a bit of trial and error. I had to bring a box to lift the fan so that it'd be at a nice angle and then kind of play around with it for a while, but it looks like it's working. So let's plug in a phone and see if we get some power. All right, so I have this little phone. Um, it has about 64% battery life, if you can see that. So let's plug this in and see if we can get a little juice in it. We're just going to plug in the USB, and according to the website, all we got to do is plug it in. It's, it's working, so let's see. Plugged it in, and nothing. No power. Total disappointment. It's all plugged in. It's running. Ooh! Wait. It charged? Maybe? Nope. Maybe? I did. Nope, still no power. Okay, so I think mine's is a little defective. Um, I noticed that when I lift the phone up, like I'm trying to get some service somewhere, I do see the little charge light pop out, but it just kind of comes on, comes off. It doesn't stay, so I don't know. It has something to do with this. So, yeah, that's, that's totally disappointing. It's doing that. I'll show it to you guys, but can't seem to get it to light up and move the phone over to the camera. The struggle is real, people. The struggle is real. Still nothing. I don't know if you guys can see that, but no charge, nothing. I think if I was out hiking and I managed to get a really good wind. And I was really excited because I figured, oh, well, my phone will be somewhat charged in the morning. And this happened, I would be really disappointed. So yeah, I'm not sure how to fix that, but if anybody has any suggestions, let me know. I will reach out to the company and see what's going on. My guess is I definitely got a defective one. Ooh, that spins, but I don't think that does anything. So yeah. All right, well, thank you guys for watching. Um, subscribe if you like it. I would love to try a few other one of these. Um, this is the Infinite Air from TextEnergy.com and pretty disappointed in it. I um, was really hoping it would be a lot better than what it seems to be. I've heard about one called the water lily so i'm going to try to see if i can try that one maybe i don't know but if you have any suggestions either to help this work or some that you own that work 
really well, let me know. I'd love to hear it. Thanks for watching, and remember, always subscribe. Thanks. Bye. Okay, so I'm going to leave it plugged in for a bit. Uh, right now, it's 12.14 and it has 62%. So let's see. I've noticed it kind of come on and off. I don't know if that's the way it's supposed to work. I hope not because, in my opinion, it's at, the phone is actually going to drain more battery than this thing is going to generate. But let's see what it's going to be in a few minutes. Okay, so we've left it on a few minutes. Um, as you can see, it's... It's gone a few minutes. I decided to do this after I finished shooting a lot of uh, the video. And one thing I noticed is it really doesn't work. Even with it kind of coming on and off, doesn't work at all. Um, as you can see, the battery has depleted and the time that it's been plugged in, that's really counterproductive to the process. It hasn't generated any um, charge whatsoever. And so if you're out hiking and this is what you're relying on, would be really disappointed. I know the company is coming out with a more uh, robust and more um, powerful turbine. Might be a better buy. I don't know. Um, I'm just very disappointed with the outcome of this because it just simply does not work. I wish it did, but it doesn't at all. So sad, so sad, so sad. Um, yeah, so if you have any suggestions of ones I should try, let me know. I would love to give some others a chance, um, especially after living that uh, snowstorm that we recently had in Texas. It's kind of good to know. Um, so anything, just leave it in the comments. Thank you. Okay, so a few things I want to say about the construction. Um, before I kind of was able to set it up and get it working. I did try on the floor and I did try a few other things. And here are things that I've noticed. Um, just really not happy with this overall. It seems to have the paint chipped over here. Um, don't know if you can notice it, but where the T, the E and the X is on text, it looks like it's coming off. And then the bottom got scratched super easy. I mean, this is brand new, honestly, and it's supposed to be meant to take with you on hikes and extreme situations. I mean, I think some of their sponsored um, representatives like hike Mount Everest, and I just cannot comprehend somebody taking this and being out in the middle of nowhere and just relying on it because it's completely unreliable. It's just my opinion. I wouldn't recommend it to anybody, but yeah, nope. Unreliable.